Hey, how's it going everyone? This is DCSG81 and today I'm very excited to be doing a review for this Marvel Legends The Disney Plus Wave And this is going to be a very special review because I'm not just doing a review for one figure Not two, not even three Yes, all seven of them together So, you might want to grab a beer and enjoy the ride Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at all the box together and wow, I must say is that this looks very good. Wow, I'm just impressed on the pictures that they've chosen for each of the box is looking very very nice and as we know, this is the Disney Plus wave which means that the TV series is all in Disney Plus. Of course, we have Wanda Visions, we have the Falcons and Winter Soldiers and also the upcoming Loki. Okay, so he's the one that is yeah, quite stand out amongst them because uh, it's not being shown yet. So these are the six that we are all very familiar with if you watch the series. And right here is the other side of the box which is basically the same pictures. And at the back of the box basically is a bigger pictures of the side pictures that we have seen just now. And also some information about the characters which if you want to read, you can pause it right now. The next one we have Scarlet Witch which looks very good. I love these pictures very much. Wow, this looks very good. And also some information about her which you can read about. And next is the White Visions or they call it Divisions. Okay, which looks very good. I kind of like these pictures a lot as well. You can see how scary and grumpy his look is. From here you can read about him. And next we have Zemo. Yep, I kind of like his mask looks better than his unmasked look. And from here, you can read a little bit about him. Next, we have Bucky or Winter Soldier. He just kind of looks a lot more buffer than he is in the movie. And here is a little story about him that you can read about. And next, we have Paul Walker as the US agents. And here is a little story about him. And lastly, of course, is the Falcon Sam Wilson's Captain America. Wow, this picture just looks very good. And also some story about him. And at the same time, this is a build a figure. Of course, it's not really a figure. It's more like build a wings for the falcon wings. So you can see each one of them actually comes with part of the wing, except for falcon himself. <laughs> he didn't come with any part of the wings. Yep. Okay. So being the gentleman that I always am, let's start with the only ladies in the group, which is the Scarlet Witch. Wanda okay so let's take a look at the front of the box yep I kind of like the the new Disney plus right over here and so also we have the Marvel Studio Wanda Visions looks very very premium right over here it's very nice okay and as for the box it's almost very similar with the rest of the Marvel Legends series okay so we can see wow she just looks very good okay so let's get her out So this is Wanda right out of the box and my goodness, she just looks very beautiful. Wow, just like how she should looks like in the movie. Wow, just take a look at the costume first. Yeah, we'll go to the heads later. Yep, it's very, very detailed as you can see all the, wow, the patterns all over and even her pants. She have all the design. Wow, I think Marvel Legends really outdid themselves this time. With her design of her costumes this is very very good even the lower parts here seems to be wow the design is just marvelous cool very very nice just like how i want the figures to be and her hair this looks very well painted wow i'm not sure whether this is uh, normal but i just like the flow of her hair this looks very nice and as for her face yes this is how she she looks like Wow, I really see the Elizabeth Olsen's likeness over here. This looks very, very good. And this portion here is soft. Yep, just be very careful about it. Uh, and I think they just stick it on the face. Yeah, otherwise she just looks... My goodness, this is way better than the maniple version. <laughs> and unfortunately, I have sold my one and only Scarlet Witch. So I can't do a comparison in terms of the face likeness for you guys. But what I do have is the SHV Guards here and I must say is that whew, they are quite 
on par in terms of the lightness. The lightness on the SH Figuat is very good enough, but this one seems to be even better now. Wow, this is really good Hasbro. So let's start with the articulations for her. She can turn to the right this much. She can turn to the left this much. She can look up uh, not much because of her hair. And she can look down this much. And for her arm, she can go right to here before it's being blocked by her hair. She can spread out her arm this much. There's no arm shrivel. A single joint elbow. And her hands are movable as well. And from the look of it, she only have one articulation on here whereby she can bend forward this much Well, not much She can bend backward this much, which is a lot But that will actually leave a gap here I try to turn her waist, but it doesn't seem to be able to turn So there's only one turning over here But she can kick forward this much, about 90 degrees Kicking backwards is not possible There's a tight shrivel A double joint knee and her legs can move to the side, up and down as well, and there's no toe hinge. As for the accessory, she just comes with a set of magic effects for both of her arms, also a pair of translucent hands, which I kind of like a lot. And right up next, let's move on to the white vision. As we can see, the box design is rather similar. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so we have the white visions right over here, and my goodness, he just looks very, very good, even better than I have expected. So we'll take a look at his body design. It's basically all white except for this portion right over here, which is slightly uh like something like a pale yellowish color over here, here, and here. But nevertheless, it does have a lot of details as you can see. Yep, it does have a lot of texture on the body and this portion here is also very well designed and of course, as you can see, his cape is translucent which, wow, he just add on to the beauty of it and let's take a look at his head wow, this looks very very good here my goodness, you can really see Paul Bettany likeness here wow, this is so good but for those of you who are wondering whether it's the similar one i show it to you guys it's rather different you can see even over here it's already different design yep but in terms of the body i think it's rather similar even all the way to his legs but then again i think the cape is a new design as you can see the flow is rather different and lastly as you can see even the face is rather different i think this one have more likeness to paul bettany and this one uh, somehow the lightness isn't that good once I compare with this guy here. <laughs> As for the articulations, he can actually move everywhere for his head. Looking up this much, which is very good for flying poses. <sighs> Looking down even better. Then to the left and to the right. And his cape is actually a separate piece. As you can see, this portion here is uh, loose. It's not glued on. Yeah, at least for mine. And for his arm, he can go all the way up. But then again, it will actually push his cape out of the way, which looks pretty odd. But moving to the side, it seems to be okay. So there's arm shivels, double joint elbow, movable hands, two point of articulations on the torso. He can bend forward this much, bending backward this much, and he can even turn the waist. As for his leg, he can kick forward this much, about 90 degrees. Kicking backwards not going to happen. There's a tight shivels, double joint knee, and his leg can turn to the side, up, and down. As for the accessory, he only comes with a pair of closed fist hands. And next, we'll take a look at Loki. Again, I kind of like how they designed this entire wordings. It's very nice, <laughs> just very Loki feel. Now, this is very nice. The variance authority for all time, always. So this is Loki in a suit. Well, I don't have much Marvel Legends with a suit, but this does look very good to be added into my collections. So we can see that the suit is rather well made. Yeah, I heard a lot of people say this is just a reuse of other Marvel Legends suited body, but it just looks very good with all the crease around it. Yep, even the tie is a separate piece. It's not like they just <laughs> drawn on it. 
Yep, and you also have a holster here, but it's not painted like a gun holster. Yep, and right here the belt buckle is being painted gold, which looks very realistic. And his pen has all the creases, which looks very good. The shoe is rather plain though. In the back we can see the variance again. As for his head, I think this is one of the best looking Loki. As far as I have seen, I've seen a few of the Marvel Legends Loki last time. And they just makes me laugh because of the facial expressions. It doesn't really look like Tom at all, but this one does have his slightness over there. I kind of like how he's like slightly smiling wickedly. And I also like how they actually design his hair to be like, you know, slightly flowing to the right, not just some plain looking hair. And I don't have any other Marvel Legends Loki to compare his likeness with. What? But I do have the SH Figuarts one, which is this one. <laughs> Just ignore the body because I actually use the body on the Mayfax John Wick body. But just enjoy the likeness. Wow, this time around I do think that the Marvel Legends actually knew his likeness pretty well as compared to the SH Figuarts, which is, I must admit, is quite good already. But this one seems to be even better. As for the articulation, I believe his head can move everywhere he wants to because there is no hindering. He can look up this much. Looking down even better. Turning to the right and to the left, no issue. He can even tilt his head. Moving his arm, no problem there. There's the arm shivels. Double joint elbow. Movable hands of course. Up and down. Two points of articulations like visions. Bending forward this much. Bending backwards, uh, not much. Turning to the side, no issue. Kicking forward this much. Kicking backwards, not going to happen. There's a tight shivers. Double joint, knee. And his leg can move side to side, down and up. And this Loki doesn't come with any accessory at all. But the things that bothers me is, he does have some very odd looking hands. Like this one seems to be able to hold on to something like a gun trigger hand, but there's no gun for him. And next we will take a look at Baron Zemo. Again, I kind of like how they do the Falcon and the Winter Soldiers with the Captain America shields right over here. Okay, so this is Baron Zemo and I must say that, wow. I have not thought that he actually comes with so much details to talk about. So let's start with the clothing first. Yep, from here you can see that this looks very good with the inner red shirts and there are some something like a belt going on over here but it's not painted. His belt buckle does looks very interesting here but his pants is rather plain okay although there are a lot of creases all over which makes it looks uh, pretty realistic I would say and his overcoats although it's just a plain color but it does have quite a lot of uh, designs over there and I kind of like this piece over here I don't know what you call it it's something like a uh, wind blocker or something <laughs> as for his face likeness wow I do think that it really looks like him yep there's no questions there I mean if you can put this head into other bodies everyone will recognize him as Baron Zemo and I'm not sure whether is it my eyes are playing tricks on me. His hair just looks a little bit purplish. So let's start with some articulations for this guy. And turn to the right and to the left. Even 360 degrees turn. Looking up this much. Looking down this much. And there's a gap behind his head. For his arm, I believe he can turn 360 degrees. The arm shivers. Double joint elbow and his hands are movable but the movement of his hand is slightly being hindered by the overcoat sleeve here as for the torso articulation is pretty much the same like white visions and loki bending forward this much bending backwards not much because of his overcoat which is quite hard and turn to the side no issue his leg can kick forward uh, about 90 degrees kicking backwards not going to happen because of his overcoat again Tight shivers, double joint knee, his leg can move to the side, up and down. This Baron Zemos comes with the most accessories such as a pair of close fist hands, a book which he used to control the winter soldiers, a golden hand gun which looks <laughs> pretty odd, an interchangeable mask head which I think is the best part of the accessory. Wow, this looks very good. So let's change the head. Now this is looking so good. And let's see he can hold on to his book. 
yep he can hold on to it pretty well but you will have to use the same right hands to hold on to his golden guns which kind of looks pretty nice on him 